You know Taylor Swift's mother chose her name to ensure gender ambiguity? Yes, you heard that right. Taylor Swift's full name is Taylor Allison Swift. Her mother, Andrea Finley, wanted to gift her daughter a name that wouldn't immediately reveal her gender. She believed this would give Taylor an edge in the world and she wasn't wrong. Taylor's unique name has certainly become a trademark in the music industry. Now let's talk about the Swift family. Taylor's father, Scott Kingsley Swift, is a man of intellect. Did you know he attended the University of Manoa, Hawaii for his college studies? That's right. The Swifts are a family of intriguing backgrounds. And thus, Taylor's name isn't just a name, it's a legacy, a strategy, and a narrative all on its own. So the name Taylor was a strategic choice right from the start. Imagine growing up on a Christmas tree farm. Well, that was Taylor Swift's reality. Nestled in the heart of Pennsylvania, young Taylor Swift spent her formative years amidst the towering evergreens and the crisp winter air of her family's Christmas tree farm. The farm, a purchase made by her father from one of his clients, was more than just a home. It was a playground, a sanctuary, and a source of inspiration for the budding artist. From the scent of fresh pine to the enchanting twinkle of Christmas lights, every element of this unique setting breathed life into her creativity. The simplicity of life on a Christmas tree farm, far removed from the glitz of the city, grounded Taylor, shaping her into the down-to-earth individual and artist she is today. This unconventional upbringing allowed Taylor to see the world from a different perspective, influencing her music and storytelling. Indeed, it was a unique childhood that shaped the superstar we know today. At age 10, Taylor Swift was already making waves in her local music scene. This isn't an exaggeration. Before she became the global sensation we all know today, a young Taylor was already honing her craft, performing at a variety of local events in her hometown. From contests to fairs, she was a regular fixture on the stage, enchanting the crowd with her voice and capturing hearts before she even stepped into the limelight. But it wasn't just her community that was treated to early performances from the budding star. At the tender age of 11, Taylor sang the Star Spangled Banner at a Philadelphia 76 ERs game. Imagine that, a preteen Taylor belting out the national anthem in a stadium filled with thousands of spectators. It's no small feat, and it was clear that she was not just any ordinary child. Around this time, she also took part in a local talent competition where she sang Leanne Rimes's Big Deal and won. It was another testament to her talent, another feather in her cap, and another step closer to her dreams. Yet, what truly set Taylor on her path to becoming a music prodigy was a fortuitous encounter at the age of 12. A computer repairman taught her how to play three chords on the guitar, sparking a love for the instrument that would become a cornerstone of her music. This sparked a fire in her, a desire to learn more, to create more. And so she did. She started playing the guitar and with it, she started songwriting. Her first song, Lucky You, was born from this newfound passion. It was the beginning of a journey that would eventually lead her to become one of the most successful songwriters of her generation. From a young age, Taylor was already on her way to stardom. She was a girl with a dream, a guitar, and a heart full of songs. She was a music prodigy in the making, a star just waiting for her moment to shine. And shine she did. A chance encounter with a computer repairman sparked Taylor Swift's journey into songwriting. Now that's not a sentence you expect to hear every day, is it? But in the world of Taylor Swift, these unexpected intersections of fate and talent are what shaped her into the musical sensation she is today. At the tender age of 12, a computer repairman visited the Swift household. Little did he know, he was about to change the course of music history. As he worked on the family's computer, he noticed a guitar lying in the corner of the room. Seizing the opportunity, he decided to share his own passion for music with young Taylor. He taught her how to strum her first three chords on the guitar. These three chords, seemingly simple and insignificant, were the seeds that blossomed into Taylor's songwriting career. Inspired by her newfound ability to create music, she started exploring the world of songwriting. She combined her love for storytelling with her new guitar skills, resulting in her first ever song, Lucky You. Lucky You marked the beginning of Taylor's journey. It was a raw and honest piece that showcased the young songwriter's talent and potential. It was the first of many songs that would eventually lead her to become one of the most successful and loved musicians of our generation. But let us not forget the humble origins of this journey. It was a chance encounter, a simple act of sharing a passion that ignited the spark in Taylor. It was a computer repairman who unknowingly set the wheels of destiny in motion, 
who gave Taylor the tools to express her emotions and experiences through music. So next time you listen to a Taylor Swift song, remember the story of the computer repairman. Remember the first three chords on the guitar, the first strum, the first words of Lucky You. Remember the humble beginnings of a star and how a seemingly insignificant moment can lead to extraordinary outcomes. And that's how a computer repairman inadvertently gave the world a music sensation. Did you know Taylor Swift is not only a singer-songwriter but also a novelist? That's right. Beneath the glitz and glamour of the stage, beneath the catchy tunes and heartfelt lyrics, there lies a hidden writer in Taylor. At the tender age of 12, when most of us were just starting middle school, Taylor was engrossed in the world of words and imagination. She penned a novel, a substantial one at that, spanning 350 pages. Could you imagine the kind of dedication and creativity it must have taken? Unfortunately, this literary work has never seen the light of day and remains unpublished, but it certainly gives us a glimpse into the mind of this multifaceted artist. Taylor Swift, the world knows her as the award-winning singer and adored songwriter. But now you know another side of her, a novelist waiting for her story to be told. So, Taylor Swift, a singer, songwriter, and an unpublished novelist. Taylor Swift isn't just a singer, she's a multi-instrumentalist. Now what does that mean? Well, it simply means she can play more than one musical instrument proficiently. And when we say proficiently, we're not talking about strumming a few chords here and there. We're talking about a deep understanding of each instrument and the ability to make beautiful music with it. When most people think of Taylor Swift, they picture her with a guitar in her arms, singing her heart out. And indeed, the guitar was her first love. At the tender age of 12, a computer repairman taught her to play three chords, and that was all she needed to kickstart her songwriting journey. But the guitar isn't the only string to her bow, no pun intended. Taylor's musical repertoire extends to the piano, an instrument that lends itself beautifully to her heartfelt ballads. With the ability to evoke deep emotions, the piano has played a significant role in many of her songs, adding depth and dimension to her music. Then there's the ukulele. This small, four-stringed instrument might seem simple, but don't be fooled. It requires a unique skill set to play, and Taylor has mastered it with the same dedication she's shown to all her musical endeavors. Now let's not forget the electric guitar. With its powerful sound and versatility, it has allowed Taylor to explore a variety of musical genres, from pop to rock and even country. Her performances with the electric guitar are nothing short of electrifying. And last but not least, the banjo. This instrument, with its distinctive twang, harks back to Taylor's country roots and reminds us of her musical versatility and willingness to experiment with different sounds. So, there you have it, Taylor Swift, a multi-talented artist with a love for music that knows no bounds. Taylor Swift's creativity isn't limited to music. This starlet, known for her catchy tunes and heartfelt lyrics, has another artistic feather in her cat painting. You heard it right, painting. Our beloved T-Swift is as much a virtuoso with a paintbrush as she is with a guitar. Taylor's passion for painting is a testament to her multifaceted personality. She has a keen eye for colors and shapes, and her artwork often reflects a unique blend of her personal experiences and vivid imagination. It's as if she pours her soul onto the canvas, creating a visual representation of her emotions and thoughts. Her painting talent is more than just a hobby. It's an extension of her artistic spirit, a different medium through which she expresses herself. Just like her music, Taylor's paintings are a window to her soul, a testament to her creative prowess. So next time you think of Taylor Swift, remember she's not only a music icon, but a painting enthusiast as well.